Can I help you? Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. No, what you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. Let me see. I'm there. sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Hell, okay, okay. What, 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 what you mean by that? I'm leaving. You, you, you seem talking some right now. Some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts. Which ones? Talk. Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that right. is a conversation for another time. I bet it was good Sebastian. meeting you. Good luck today. I right, double S. I'm gonna keep in touch with you. I like you, bro. Me and you cool. I like you. you yeah. How are you? I'm good, Shoddy. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mm. Checkmate. Told you. You nailed that. You should have listened to me. Oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. Chill out. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. She would have got eight. We had to. I ain't gonna catch all the like. <laughs> uh. Like, she came off too cocky, so that made me feel like, Shardy, you don't got it. So, no, we had a we handle it. it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. I mean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Oh, Speaking word? of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Who that wizard chess you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Oh, chill out. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. You seem to know a lot about that wizard chess too. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like you, to be honest. Ominous. I, Is that I his think name? I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that gone. interesting. Ah. Based on all the chatter oh, when blind? you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Yeah, I do like the way it's just Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. You know that. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Are you blind? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, no one way. of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Oh, okay, so you, oh, okay. You were worried. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes. But I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> nice meeting you, bro. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. 
pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. You see, I had Mr. good conversations with Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Uh, thanks, Charlie. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh man, you know I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? We but we we about to learn a lot, brother. Right? Perhaps That's seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. <laughs> okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. Which I mean, uh, I'll go to what will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. Man, a mastery don't. of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. She just don't realize, bro. I'm not straying away from that evil. I'm joining that evil. <laughs> like, I like, she just don't know. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Hey, My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Exactly. You're just too damn nosy, Speak girl. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? <laughs> yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. 
Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Okay. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Good luck and to remember you, baby. to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And hey, invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. Mm. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between okay. us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Earn it, earn it. Come on. Man, get them little Hufflepuff weird niggas on my face, bro. Come on, huh? What are we about to learn? Assess you. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, what's good, my brother? Thank you. What's good? Oh no, Hello, that, that's a girl. What's Nessie. up, Queen? What's so up, Queen? So you are the new student. You know that. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year want. five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education oh, on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right. Now, you know everyone, that. please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Hey, well, it, down. it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> she looking like Bride has got two more. Like, come on, man. What's this, man? You know I gotta practice with the Queen. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see yo. Is that how you say that? Akio. Akio. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Akio. <laughs> that is not bad. You know that girl. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. Might just rival Miss Onai here. 
Very good, everyone. That's enough. That might be a potential main. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Okay, let's go, Professor. Miss Onai. She greeted me off rip. She saw that melanin skin. She she said my people. She knew. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players Am amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our Don't prowess with the summoning charm back. to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> he act like I ain't cold. Like he, like he act like I ain't cold like that. Hold on. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio. Now, uh, think of this. Very good. Not to worry. Oh. Yeah, bro, my controller fuck up, bro. That's it. Happens to the best of us. Oh no, no, no. Let me retry that, bro. Let me retry that. Very good. That. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss now, let me retry that, would you bro. care to I give our new student a bit of a here challenge? Three times in a row, Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Oh, I Clear? Bet. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. What's she about to hit? What's she about to hit? Yeah. Uh, she thinks she cold or something. Hold on. Hold on. Akio. Don't lose your composure. Watch this. Oh, she gonna do that and then it's wrong. That is how it's done. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Try to think she's about to do something. Hold on. Hold on. Like what? Like what? Like what? Compl Complying with me. Control Let us do this. No, that's still count though. That's still count. Very good. Say I won't tie this up. Say, hold on. Oh, I can't. She thinks she raw. I can't. I like it. She thinks she raw something. Think you raw some, bro? Good shit. I ain't no so loose. Good job. Let us she make think this she raw some, like she black to my Shall we? Yeah, come on. Come <laughs> I think on. we are well past interesting at this point. Shut up, girl. I'm taking this serious say. now. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Smart, I right there. Very good. Fine with me, girl. Watch this. I'm about to lose, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Messed up, Charlie. Mess up. Mess up, Charlie. Mess up. There we go. I just need. Okay, I gotta get a 50. I gotta get a 50. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta get a 50 to beat her. Ah, 
shield. I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm clutch. I'm like that. Dami. Come on now. Yo. Yo. Fine with me. Fuck, what? Oh. Pass is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Yeah, took took me weeks for minutes. me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. You see, but I like her though. She cool, I like her. So I'm glad That's good to hear. It. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Oh, that's cool. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Okay, okay. Is magic this may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, damn, you have to do it all, hey? No, that's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Teach me that. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Mm -hmm. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. Word. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. You know that. How big is Ugawadu? <laughs> is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Damn. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. That's nice. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Okay, Nasai. Okay, Nasai, man. I'm just gonna talk to you, man. You can use Akio and A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. Real, nigga, I, I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hey, bet that up, boy. Bet that up. Let's go. Quest, that quest complete. Yeah. Yeah. How I look at my book again? I'm gonna end it right there. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna end that right there.